Holy Spirit is a term found in English translations of the Bible that is understood differently among the Abrahamic religions. The term is also used to describe aspects of other religions and belief structures. Etymology <inaudible> 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 The word spirit from the Latin spiritus meaning breath appears either alone or with other words in the Hebrew Bible Old Testament and the New Testament. Combinations include expressions such as the Holy Spirit, Spirit of God, and in Christianity, Spirit of Christ. The word spirit is rendered as ruach in Hebrew language parts of the Old Testament. In its Aramaic parts, the term is ruach. The Greek translation of the Old Testament, the Septuagint, translates the word as pneuma This is the same word that is used throughout the New Testament, written originally in Greek. The English term spirit comes from its Latin origin, spiritus, which is how the Vulgate translates both the Old and New Testament concept. The alternative term, Holy Ghost, comes from Old English translations of spiritus. Topic: Comparative religion. The Hebrew Bible contains the term, Spirit of God, Ruach HaKodesh, in the sense of the might of a unitary God. This meaning is different from the Christian concept of, Holy Spirit, as one personality of God in the Trinity. The Christian concept tends to emphasize the moral aspect of the Holy Spirit more than Judaism, evident in the epithet Holy Spirit that appeared in Jewish religious writings only relatively late but was a common expression in the Christian New Testament. According to theologian Rudolf Bultmann, there are two ways to think about the Holy Spirit animistic and dynamistic. In animistic thinking, it is an independent agent, a personal power which like a demon can fall upon a man and take possession of him, enabling him or compelling him to perform manifestations of power." While in dynamistic thought it "...appears as an impersonal force which fills a man like a fluid." Both kinds of thought appear in Jewish and Christian scripture, but animistic is more typical of the Old Testament whereas dynamistic is more common in the New Testament. The distinction coincides with the Holy Spirit as either a temporary or permanent gift. In the Old Testament and Jewish thought, it is primarily temporary with a specific situation or task in mind, whereas in the Christian concept the gift resides in man permanently. On the surface, the Holy Spirit appears to have an equivalent in non Abrahamic Hellenistic mystery religions. These religions included a distinction between the spirit and psyche, which is also seen in the Pauline epistles. According to proponents of the history of religion school, the Christian concept of the Holy Spirit cannot be explained from Jewish ideas alone without reference to the Hellenistic religions. However, according to theologian Eric Consmo, the views are so dissimilar that the only legitimate connection one can make is with the Greek term pneuma, pneuma spirit itself. Another link with ancient Greek thought is the Stoic idea of the spirit as anima mundi, or world soul that unites all people. Some believe that this can be seen in Paul's formulation of the concept of the Holy Spirit that unites Christians in Jesus Christ and love for one another, but Consmo again thinks that this position is difficult to maintain. In his introduction to the 1964 book Meditations, the Anglican priest Maxwell Staniforth wrote, Another Stoic concept which offered inspiration to the Church was that of divine spirit. Kleentz, wishing to give more explicit meaning to Zeno's creative fire, had been the first to hit upon the term pneuma, or spirit, to describe it. Like fire, this intelligent spirit was imagined as a tenuous substance akin to a current of air or breath, but essentially possessing the quality of warmth, it was immanent in the universe as God, and in man as the soul and life-giving principle. Clearly it is not a long step from this to the Holy Spirit of Christian theology, the Lord and Giver of Life, visibly manifested as tongues of fire at Pentecost and ever since associated, in the Christian as in the Stoic mind, with the ideas of vital fire and beneficent warmth. <laughs> Abrahamic religions <laughs> <laughs> Judaism The Hebrew language phrase Ruach HaKodesh Hebrew, Ruhikut, Holy Spirit, also transliterated Ruach HaKodesh is a term used in the Hebrew Bible Tanakh, and Jewish writings to refer to the spirit of YHWH. Ruhikut. It literally means, Spirit of the Holiness, or Spirit of the Holy Place. The Hebrew terms Ruach Kodshka, 
Thy Holy Spirit, Rawa Kadesika and Ruach Kadsho, His Holy Spirit, Rawa Kadeswa also occur when a possessive suffix is added, the definite article is dropped. The Holy Spirit in Judaism generally refers to the divine aspect of prophecy and wisdom. It also refers to the divine force, quality, and influence of the Most High God, over the universe or over his creatures, in given contexts. Christianity For the large majority of Christians, the Holy Spirit or Holy Ghost, from Old English Gast, Spirit, is a member of the Trinity, the Triune God, manifested as Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, each aspect itself being God. Two symbols from the New Testament canon are associated with the Holy Spirit in Christian iconography, a winged dove, and tongues of fire. Each depiction of the Holy Spirit arose from different historical accounts in the Gospel narratives, the first being at the baptism of Jesus in the Jordan River where the Holy Spirit was said to descend in the form of a dove as the voice of God the Father spoke as described in Matthew, Mark, and Luke, the second being from the day of Pentecost, fifty days after Pascha where the descent of the Holy Spirit came upon the Apostles and other followers of Jesus Christ, as tongues of fire as described in the Acts of the Apostles, 2-1-31 called the unveiled epiphany of God. The Holy Spirit is the one who empowers the followers of Jesus with spiritual gifts and power that enabled the proclamation of Jesus Christ, and the power that brought conviction of faith. Islam The Holy Spirit Arabic, Ru al al -Qudis, the Holy Spirit, is mentioned four times in the Quran, where it acts as an agent of divine action or communication. While there are similarities to the Holy Spirit mentioned in Christian and Jewish sources, it is unclear if these four references refer to the same Holy Spirit. The Muslim interpretation of the Holy Spirit is generally consistent with other interpretations based upon the Old and the New Testaments. On the basis of narrations in certain hadith some Muslims identify it with the angel Gabriel Arabic J -I -B -R -il. The Spirit our al -ra, without the adjective holy or exalted is described, among other things, as the creative spirit from God by which God enlivened Adam, and which inspired in various ways God's messengers and prophets, including Jesus and Abraham. The belief in a holy trinity, according to the Quran, is forbidden and deemed to be blasphemy. The same prohibition applies to any idea of the duality of God Allah. Other religions Other religions reference a spirit that has a name resembling the Holy Spirit found in the Christian and Jewish faiths, but similar to Islam, this is a different spirit with a different purpose that is unique to those religions, as is seen below. <laughs> Baha'i Faith The Baha'i Faith has the concept of the Most Great Spirit, seen as the bounty of God. It is usually used to describe the descent of the Spirit of God upon the messengers, prophets of God who include, among others, Jesus, Muhammad and Baha'u'llah. In Baha'i belief, the Holy Spirit is the conduit through which the wisdom of God becomes directly associated with his messenger, and it has been described variously in different religions such as the burning bush to Moses, the sacred fire to Zoroaster, the dove to Jesus, the angel Gabriel to Muhammad, and the maid of heaven to Baha'u'llah. The Baha'i view rejects the idea that the Holy Spirit is a partner to God in the Godhead, but rather is the pure essence of God's attributes. <inaudible> Hinduism The Hinduism concept of Advaita is linked to Trinity and has been briefly explained by Raymond Panikkar, Professor of Comparative Religion and History of Religions, Department of Religious Studies of the University of California. He states that the Holy Spirit, as one of the three persons of the Trinity of Father, Logos and Holy Spirit, is a bridge builder between Christianity and Hinduism. He explains that the meeting of spiritualistic can take place in the Spirit. No new system has primarily to come of this encounter, but a new and yet old spirit must emerge. In North India, Indian Christians have associated the Hindu term Atman with the Holy Spirit. Atman is Vedic terminology elaborated in Hindu scriptures such as Upanishads and Vedanta signifies the ultimate reality and absolute. <inaudible> Buddhism 
In Buddhism, Holy Spirit is compared to Buddha nature as a Buddhist image or Christ consciousness, a oneness with an all-encompassing plan. Hence, the Holy Spirit is considered the means of which the faithful develop and journey to their spiritual goal. Topic: <inaudible> Sikhism. In Sikhism, the guru is the medium and the Holy Spirit is stated to have moved from Guru Nanak to the nine Sikh gurus who followed him culminating with Guru Gobind Singh, the 10th Guru Nanak. Topic: <inaudible> Zoroastrianism. In Zoroastrianism, the Holy Spirit, also known as Spenta Mainu, is a hypostasis of Ahura Mazda, the supreme creator god of Zoroastrianism. The Holy Spirit is seen as the source of all goodness in the universe, the spark of all life within humanity, and as the ultimate guide for humanity to righteousness and communion with God. The Holy Spirit is put in direct opposition to its eternal dual counterpart, Angra Mainu, who is the source of all wickedness and who leads humanity astray. Topic. See also. Topic. References. Topic. Works cited.